Seven minutes to nine. Such sad news about Dean Jones, the cricketer, 59 years old. And he died yesterday in Mumbai after reportedly suffering a heart attack. He was there to commentate the Indian Premier League competition, which is underway in the UAE. And so many people have paid tribute to him with memories this morning, encounters, inspiration. My best friend, uh, I remember one of the first things I, we chatted about when we met at uni was her love of Dean Jones. She just adored him. You're going to meet a bloke uh, called Daryl this morning who actually named his firstborn son Dean. That's the impact, the legacy that Dean Jones has had. Journalist Jason Dacey worked with Dean Jones. Jason, good morning. Good morning, Beck. Shocking news. And you last saw Dean Jones in India. What was he like in the flesh? Oh, he's a great guy, Beck. You know, he's such a, you know, life of the party. You know, he's such a character, very outspoken. In fact, we were working together for the 2019 Indian Premier League in Mumbai. And uh, we were working for different networks. And he said, come on, have a coffee. So we sat down at the Taj Land's End Hotel in, in Mumbai. We had a coffee and, you know, Baz McCullum, Brendan McCullum, the former New Zealand captain was there. He came and joined us. Scott Styrus, another New Zealand player was there. And Dino was like that. He just attracted people, you know, and he was so lively. And I'm always grateful to Dean because the first ever cricket broadcast I did was back in 2003. We were working together on a series in England out of a Singapore studio and, and Dino was my expert and I was nervous as hell because I'd only been a news presenter and journalist. Suddenly I'm there and I'm working with Dean Jones, such an icon of Australian cricket, but he was so supportive and it went so well. So I'm always grateful to Dino for his help there. And, you know, we've kept in touch over the years. I usually wished him happy birthday. He's a year older than me, you know, and it's such a wake-up call when someone around your age uh, passes mm. away. But, yeah, really sad. I mean, I got the news on Twitter last night. I couldn't sleep properly. I was so shocked. Mm. And I think we have seen this morning so many people in exactly the same situation. It was a shock. He was 59. He seemed in rude good health because if you followed him on Twitter, like I was always fascinated, he would respond to everyone and he would engage and he, he loved a, a sort of a robust uh, conversation, wasn't afraid to disagree, but do it in a, in a sort of uh, productive way. What kind of regard was Dean Jones held in across Asia? Well, the amazing thing is, of course, you know, you and I, you know, looked at him as a great player for that iconic Australian cricket team of the 80s and early 90s, where Australian cricket really turned things around. But he was probably more popular in India than anywhere else. And I'd been with him in India when fans would come up to him. And he was a brilliant cricketer, especially a brilliant one-day cricketer, but he was also a fantastic broadcaster. He was so insightful, and he'd always change things up and say something a bit different. And he was just incredible to work for. And, you know, with the, the broadcast that we did together, you know, he would always kind of bring something that you didn't really see. He'd point it out. And he had this, actually worked on this show for the IPL where he'd have all the ex-players there and he'd have a lot of fun with them and a lot of banter. And he's very much loved. Professor Dino, they called him, because of the insights that he had. Professor Dino. If you've got a connection or a memory of Dean Jones, I'd love for you to share it this morning. You can call me on 1300 612 or send a text 04679 Did you ever get to see Dean Jones play? Maybe you were lucky enough to meet him, maybe assigned a bat for you. 1300 612 what are your memories of Dean Jones? Journalist Jason Dacey reflecting on his time with him professionally in India. Jason's now based in Brisbane. Um, so most recently, when was the last time you were in touch with him? And, and do you know if health-wise he was travelling okay? Yeah, well, actually, I was in India in January. He was there at the same time. We were both working on different projects. I was working on the Australian Open tennis. He was working on test cricket. And uh, we'd actually arranged to meet at the, at the same hotel where we met the previous year, and we never did. So we just sort of exchanged WhatsApp messages. Uh, but when I met with him, he's always very fitness conscious, you know, because in the hotels that they stay at, there are great gyms. So he'd, he'd always do the broadcast. And it was very late night. He'd get up and go to the gym and, you know, meet friends for breakfast. So he was very much uh, fitness minded. He, he loved golf. He was playing a lot of golf. So it's a it's a huge shock back to see someone like that uh, pass away so suddenly. You know? mm. And I know Darren Lehman, who has spoken pretty openly now about his own heart attack earlier this year. I think he had a heart attack on his birthday. And of course, Darren Lehman, sort of the similar vintage to, True. to Dean Jones. And these are people who've been at the height of their game fitness-wise, health-wise. 
um, there will be a lot of people uh, sort of grieving and reflecting this morning and, and also thinking about their own heart health. Thank you for sharing a little of your time with Dean Jones. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Beth. Jason Dacey, a uh, journalist now based here in Brisbane at the ABC. I wonder what your memories are of Dean Jones. Give me a call, 1300 222 612. David Warner says, I can't believe this news. It's so very sad to hear about this. Rest in peace, Dino. You will be missed. Michael Clark says, speechless, devastated. Rest in peace, great man. Uh, Virat Kohli says, I'm shocked to hear about the tragic loss of Dean Jones. Praying for strength and courage to his family and friends. Yeah, Dean Jones uh, leaves behind uh, his wife and two children as well. A very, very sad day and no doubt we'll continue to pay tribute to him appropriately across this country and many others. I'll take your calls straight after the latest ABC News. It's nine o'clock.